The purpose of my breastfeeding self-efficacy talk at the Medela Symposium was to highlight that currently we are not doing a terrific job of identifying mothers at high risk to prematurely discontinue breastfeeding. I think breastfeeding self-efficacy is an excellent way to identify women who need additional support after the birth of their baby to help them achieve their breastfeeding goals. Breastfeeding self-efficacy is based on four sources of information, performance accomplishments, vicarious experience, verbal persuasion, and also her physiological and affective states. Based on these four sources of information, it helps her determine whether she feels confident or not in her ability to breastfeed her infant. Based on her breastfeeding self-efficacy, mothers will choose whether they initiate breastfeeding, whether they will persevere or give up when they face challenges. It will also determine whether they'll think about their breastfeeding situation as a challenge or something that overwhelms them. So breastfeeding self-efficacy has been shown to be modifiable. It's something that we as healthcare professionals can increase. The evidence that breastfeeding self-efficacy can improve exclusive breastfeeding rates to six months is ever growing. I've recently completed a randomized control trial to evaluate a self-efficacy enhancing intervention to improve breastfeeding exclusivity rates among primary mothers. This trial is called the WISE trial. And what we've recently shown with the final results of the study is that we can increase a mother's breastfeeding self-efficacy and increase her rates of exclusive breastfeeding at six months. This is an excellent trial and provides further evidence that breastfeeding self-efficacy is indeed a modifiable variable and something that we should be targeting as healthcare professionals as we support mothers to achieve their breastfeeding goals.